Mary, good afternoon. This video is being made for Kayla and Matt. This is Catherine with Revival Web Design. And I uh, spoke with Kayla briefly yesterday and let her know that I'd be sending a video over that is going to give you some education on your digital footprint, uh, what your competition's doing and how you can improve to get some of that organic traffic through your door. I just want to touch on why we do the education of this. Um, we, we want to help small businesses grow and support your families and not just supporting your families, but when you grow, you're supporting a workforce. Uh, so here in the United States, small businesses, we are the backbone of a lot of the workforce and we want to, we want to grow. Uh, we want to give you guys the opportunity to grow just like some of these large corporations do. And then, um, Either way, I'm a small business and I want to just help those who are trying to work for themselves get to a place where they, they envision and the reason why they start their, their company. Um, so you can take this information and run with it, or maybe if you find it valuable, um, it will be a lot of information and data. So you might feel that our services could, could help get you to where you want to be. Uh, we can look at implementing a solid plan that's really geared and shaped around your goals that you have for your business and your budget. Uh, but either way, uh, we want to get you the same type of foot traffic that your competitors are getting. So with that, <clears throat> there are going to be three areas that we're going to focus on. The first being SEO, which is search engine optimization. Uh, the second is going to be GMB, which is Google My Business, also known as a citation. That is your business name, your phone number, and your address, um, how many times it's out there in, on the internet. And then we're going to talk about backlinks. So just to get started, what I did is I typed in electrician Sarasota. Now I know that you probably service other areas surrounding Sarasota, but I did do it based off of where your office is located. Uh, so if you had a question as to why I typed this in, um, this is going to be called a keyword search. And keywords are what we want to make sure that's a part of the content on your website. Um, and mainly because this is how Google's going to allow people when they type this in to find you. So this is called a keyword search. Uh, so electrician Sarasota is what I typed in. So when you type in a service, usually you're going to find ads. And you see here with the, the map, <clears throat> this is called a Google map pack. This is where your Google My Business would be. And then down below underneath some of these national companies or the Better Business Bureau, you're gonna find the organic searches. So Owens Electric is gonna be one of your top competitors and I do have their, their website open. Um, so we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but what I wanted to show you on here is how people find you organically and that's through, once again, these keyword searches or the Google My Business. So when it comes to SEO, Google likes content, and what content is is the amount of words you have on your website. And we use a content writer to help make content sound very organic and also tie in different keywords uh, so that people can find you without um, having to go back onto pages four, five, six, et cetera. When I say that, what I mean is when you're not on this front page, you're down here in these other search pages. So if you don't have the keywords that people are searching, they're not going to be, you're not going to be found. And I'll show you that in just a second. But one of the things that the Owens Electric does, they have about the same type of content on their homepage, but they have a lot more service pages in place. And then with that, they are also ranking for a fair amount of more keywords. Uh, a refs, this is a site that I pay for to help do uh, research on the background to websites. Um, you can get a subscription, but what this tells me is keywords um, that the company's websites have and how often they're being found. So you get about one person a month currently finding your website and then Owens Electric is around 150 plus or minus. So these numbers are on a monthly scale and they are, 
being searched, uh, I'm sorry, found for 68 different keywords. So what that means when I talk about keywords, I'm going to hop in here and show you just a second. There's what's called volume and position. So volume is how often it's being searched and position is where you're being found. So if we look at electricians with that S, Sarasota, it's being searched 700 times, but you're not going to be found because you're in the 75th position. That means there are 74 other companies ahead of you that when someone types this in, they're being found for that. Um, and a lot of these other locations, uh, what this column here is, this keyword difficulty is how easily it could take to, to rank you. So implementing a couple of changes to the content on your site um, can be pretty key in getting some additional foot traffic organically to you in just a, a short period of time. When I say short period, probably minimum of about three to, to five months. Um, so that is the top thing with SEO, the Google, my business. So let's go back into that search bar. When I, t when you type this in the Google, my business, if we click on this view, all you're going to see a couple of ads at the top and then a whole slew of other companies. Now, once again, same thing here, they do have pages. So knowing this and you're not on this top page that means that all these other companies are being found organically before you and once again that's with how often your name address and, and phone number are out there on the internet and then how often um, google is being able to find you to, to, to link you google um, uses all of that information to verify your company and your reputation and that can be with reviews, it can be with photos, and it can be with backlinks. Um, but to get to those top slots, we definitely have to get your name and, and information out there more than apparently is. And then lastly, we we'll to talk about backlinks. So I'm going to hop back into AREFs and go over what some of these other definitions are. So your UR is going to be your, of course, your website domain. That's how strong your website is. These both this number and the DR, which is your domain rating, are out of 100. And right now, your domain rating is not even at zero. So the DR is your trustworthiness or popularity that Google finds you. And a lot of both of these are driven through what we call backlinks. And a backlink is essentially one link from one website to another. And that can help increase your website's ranking. High quality links help Google believe the strength and popularity of your site. And then when we look at backlinks, they're not all created equal. So I'm just going to click on your list right here. <clears throat> so like this particular one, it doesn't have a very strong DR or a UR. So the stronger that domain rating is going to be, the more power it pushes to your website. And a lot of your backlinks don't really have a whole lot of um, strength to them. If we look at what Owens Electric has, they first off, they have significantly more. But if you can see here, a lot of these, once again, that numbers out of 100 are very strong, and that's pushing a lot of power to their website. One, so one of the things that we do within the SEO services is that we go after some of these links to try to mirror and get the same type of power. Um, it's not necessarily mirroring their website to yours, but the the actual link with the, the strength behind it, pushing that same power to your own site. And there is a cost at times to getting some of these higher backlinks. So that is a ticket item that can increase the cost of monthly SEO services. But if you are receiving, you know, part of this 150 traffic that they're getting, it's going to pay for itself to get more organic phone calls to you to you and your business um, based off your digital footprint. So with that being said, those are the three areas I was going to cover today. Um, those are topics that we can help improve to get more business through your door. And I hope you found that this information was valuable. Um, what I would like to do is schedule a, a deep dive, and that's where we get a better vision, uh, an idea of where you'd like to take your company 
on how, how much growth you want, what type of revenue do you want to get to, what type of expansion uh, do you want to do, um, you know, what type of business do you need during slower months. So this is a chance for us to get to know you and how we can help as well as for you to get to know myself and our business and to see if we would be a good fit. We appreciate feedback. You know, let us know what you thought of this, please. It helps us shape the information that we're bringing to other small businesses. And then lastly, maybe you don't want our services, you know, refer us. We're looking to help educate all small business owners out there, whether it's friends or families or current colleagues of yours or old colleagues. You know, we want to be able to really build up that backbone with the small businesses growing in our area. So thank you for taking the time to review this today. You know, we hope that you know, to hear from you. Um, you can give us a call at 757-846-0186. You can respond back to the email or here is our email address. And then um, I will also reach back out in a couple of days just to see if there is anything that you might have additional questions on. But once again, Kayla and Matt, thank you so much for your time. And we look forward to speaking to you. Have a great day.